Hey guys, Mike here and in this video I'm going to show you how to sync the Google Nexus 5 to all your music, movies, contacts and all the other details available in your iTunes account. That's going to be something very useful if you're moving from an iPhone to this Android device. Anyway, the entire process is simple and will only take a minute or two, but you have to follow the instructions closely. Before we start, you will have to back up your old iPhone locally on your computer using iTunes. Once you've done that, you can proceed with the next steps. First, download and install the app called Easy Phone Sync on your Nexus from Google Play. It's free. Next, you will have to install the matching software on your computer, either a Mac or a PC. For that, you need to open your browser and go to easyphonesync.com, select the transfer music from iTunes or data from your iPhone option and then click on download. From here, select the needed version of the software, which in my case is the one for Windows PCs. Wait for the app to be downloaded and then install it. Once that's done, grab your Nexus 5 and run the Easy Phone application on it. Go through the wizard until you reach the final step and press finish. Now connect your phone to the computer via the included USB cable. Next, run the Easy Phone Sync piece of software on the computer as well. Another easy to follow wizard will pop out, just go through it and select your connected phone, the types of music and videos you want transferred from your iTunes account into the phone, the podcasts, messages, contacts, notes and so on. Once you've configured all these options, just make sure that Sync Now is ticked and click Finish. The application will start syncing with your Nexus. Once it's finished, you can disconnect the phone and enjoy all your iTunes content that is now available on the Nexus 5 as well. And that's about it. If by any means the entire syncing process fails or does not work as presented in this clip, close the apps both on the computer and on the phone and try again, following closely the steps mentioned earlier. And if you need more help, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to reply. Anyway, this sums up this video. Thanks for watching and if you found this clip useful, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for my future updates. See you soon.